last time on Playtime Beyond Two Souls, the date went well until it didn't. And then Jody went on a mission to find some terrorist dictator guy in a war zone. She she per perfectly performed stealth and then she found a kid that needed saving. She saved the kid, but now she's on her own. Or will be soon. It went back this far, okay. Nope, there's no thing to skip the cutscene. They didn't see us. I still don't speak this kid's language. This is where we have to go our separate ways. I must go. Do you understand, Celine? La ne trukuki. Yum kinuni el paka wila jani buki. Hasta tiu musa hada tuki. Sorry, but you can't come with me. Still don't know what you're saying, kid. You're really brave, Celine. Aww. Someday, this is all gonna be over. You can just go back to being a kid. What is up with that strange stripe on her face? Like, is that supposed to cam be camouflage? Because it only covers part of her face. Jamal was around here somewhere. I don't have much time. All right, back to stealth. Am I being stealthy for no reason? Oh, nope. There's a guy. Come on, Iden. Alright, they can't see down there, so... Oh, is he too far away? He's too far away. Now I can choke him. May the force be with you. Wait, wrong franchise. <laughs> do I want to go that way or do I want to go this way? Oh, nah, I want to go that way. That's a dead end. That's it. Jamal's here. Now find a place close to the house where I can take cover. You know what you have to do. Find Jamal, Iden. That's him. That's Jamal. I won't be able to get close enough. You're gonna have to do it, Iden. So I'm gonna possess Jamal. Uh, hey, why? Oh, that's just a barrel. I thought that was something. Um, 
What am I doing? Because it won't let me do the table thing again. Oh, okay. I gotta look for key people to take out. Like him. And use him to knock everybody out. Good. Now find a weapon. This guy I just choked out just had a weapon. Now nah, let's use the truck's gun. to do it. Orders are orders. The guy's got blood on his hands. He deserves to die. Come on. I can do this. I can kill him. I can kill him. Nice hello from Uncle Sam. Come and open the door for me. I need to confirm that your mom is dead. Hurry. Hurry. Uh, I can't see. I can't see. Where am I? There's still a guy left alive in here. Can Jody, please. Thank you. That kid Salim? is Jamal's son. Abi, Abi, la, la tamuja, Abi. Oh no, just a soldier. He's your father. Ni mazafaachi sale, pa kartu ana kisa chika chie. I have a shield power, remember? Sorry, your dad was a bad guy. Okay, can't take control of Aiden. go down here? Yeah. Come on! I didn't heal her. Fuck! 
I didn't heal her. Oh, I gotta knock the ladder down. Okay. I was gonna say, I healed the leg. Kick the ladder over. Just use your shield power. Hey, Uncle Sam's here to save the day. Liam, why was your dad a bad guy? Ten years in the CIA. Never seen anything like it. Boss sends his own private helicopter to get an agent back. All the top brass are crazy about you, Jody. You and Ivan, of course. Jody, you okay? Listen, I know this one was tough, but it's over. I'm going home. Just another mission accomplished, right? I'll never forget what I saw back there, right? Never. PTSD. How's your leg? Better when this painkiller kicks in. Like I said, I healed the leg. Boy, that's very quick to lose interest in a magazine. You open up one page and then you close it and put it back away. Not even I've lost interest in a magazine that quick. And the international community had just announced its official recognition of the election of the new president, Jamal Sheikh Sharif. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. And now, sources report that he and all his government were assassinated in what appears to be an unclaimed attack. We have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Hopes were high that the newly recognized President Jamal Sharif would be able to put an end to the hostilities that have ravaged his country for many years. Oh, you guys are leaders pricks. have already expressed outrage at what appears to be nothing less than a cold-blooded execution. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. You're a prick. Selene's dad is not a bad guy. She lied to me. What are you talking about? Salim's dad didn't have to die. Jamal wasn't a warlord. He was the president. He was the democratically elected president. Your point? We're not politicians. We had our orders. You knew I wouldn't have murdered him. So you lied to me. Welcome to the CIA, Jody. It's not fucking choir practice in case you haven't noticed. Now, we had a job to do, and we did it. End of story. This might just be a 
fucking job to you, okay? But I don't go around killing people because some four fucking star general tells me to. What's going on? I want Ryan to die. Right, we'll I'm so glad. You okay. manipulated me. You used me to do your dirty work. What difference does it make? Jody, you was a dead man walking with or without you. I have blood on my hands. Some kid I'm so glad Jody didn't wind up sleeping with him. Because I trusted him. We were doing the right thing. What am I, me, Ryan? A toy? Some fucking puppet that you can just do whatever you want with? We're getting massive turbulence. What? I can't control it. Did you also lie to me that night in my apartment? Jody, for God's sake, uh -oh. you're gonna kill us. No one's ever gonna lie to me again, Ryan. Jody! Chill, oh. chill, chill. Okay, I don't have to shield her. So Aiden was right all along. Willem, come pick me up. Nathan Dawkins. They used me to kill those people. Jody, what happened? I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I was just doing what I was told. Where are you? Is Clayton with you? No. No. No, I ran away. You can't run away from them. They'll hunt you down and they'll find you. You've got to come in. They can bring it on. I'm sure oh, it's over. Nathan. I'll take them out. Toy. You tell them that if they try to find me, I'll kill them. Jody, listen. Tell them, Nathan. And she will. She did it at the bar. What a prick. I hope I get the choice to kill him, because I will. He deserves to die. I can't believe I thought he was cool. I feel like an idiot. Oh, I have an undiscovered path. That's my second one. <sighs> Old friends. So this is after the Yatsu gala or whatever it was in the de in the navajo desert where i somehow managed to not save paul probably by not healing his wounds before doing the uh ritual oh is that cole cole my man how you doing still sorry for possessing you my little princess oh God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. A little sad and lost. Like the first time I saw you. I can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's I did? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me. <laughs> oh, Cole, it's, I'm so happy to see you. I was I'm worried. They're so... looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species. Oh, what? Well, you guys are dealing with that crap again? priority, but I get to do what I want. How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. 
He's running the DPA. <laughs> He's come a long way since the days of our little lab. You guys are idiots. Did you tell anyone that I called you? No, of course not. Not even Nathan. <laughs> Wouldn't do me any good to be meeting up with a known felon now, would it? <laughs> <laughs> what I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? The day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Nora Gray. Her child was declared stillborn. And the father? Did you learn anything about him? His name was Jonathan Nichols. He died before birth. Heart failure. That's all I could find. What else did you learn about her? Not much. All I know is that she took part in the DPA research program some 20 years back. She also what? had a gift. Where is Nora now? What? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital. Is Iden Nora's to a file? She should still be there now. My mother's locked up in a mental hospital. I'm sorry, Jody. I've got to go see her. Jody, Wait. I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. Oh, if I Nora. If I her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high-security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. I've also got Aiden and you stealth training. Walk right in. And combat training. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. I'm stealthy, I'm good in a fight, and I've got Aiden. What else do I need? A huge risk of me. Forget you ever saw me. Thank you, Cole. Dude, Cole is the best. I am I hated the fact that I had to possess him. Hey. You didn't think I was going to let you go alone, did you? I'll call don't. Don't. I can't lose you. You're going to come with me and you're going to get shot and killed. Oh, this is... Please don't come in. I don't like it, Jody. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait. Cole, please. Do, no. I'm going to wind up getting Cole killed. It's not cool. I promise I will do everything I can to save you. You will not die tonight, Cole. Always play. Hey, um, I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Can you help me out? Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in. I'm sorry, all visitors must have the correct authorization. All right, Aiden, you're up. Hey, we don't know what room she's in. 
I'll find out. I gotta hold it. Found her. Nora Gray, seventh floor, room 43. So good. Thing. I don't like that it's seven floors up. What now? I don't find a way to open that door. I mean, the door's open, but. Yeah. Crap. You gotta distract the guard first. Yeah, I know. Nice, Raiden. Now unlock the door. Come on. He'll be busy with that. And it'll make us harder to see. at the guard station. No. Oh, he's too far away. Uh, oh, hey. Oh, come on. Let me hit the let me hit a fire extinguisher. Wait, 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 wait. Camera. Now you wake up. You're mine. Get over here. That was very smart item. Oh, I'd better check and see if there are any other camera. Uh, camera? Need to knock out all the cameras. Don't go too far, Jody. We find room 43 and get the hell out of here. Uh, yeah. Don't get too far ahead. I gotta knock cameras out, dude. Camera. Camera. Oh, too far away. Camera. Dude, Cole, you're just like walking through all the cameras. Forty-three! I found it, Jody. Good job. Yeah, you know what else you found? Three cameras that you walked right in front of. Jody, I'm here. Yeah. I'm knocking out cameras. Boom. Now 
now nobody knows I was here. I'll wait here. No, you Joey. won't. You... She may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. You shouldn't go in. You know what? I think you're right, Cole. Can I let go? No, I have to go in. I know what that's like. I've got grandparents who are starting to go through dementia and it's not great. Oh, that's me. Judy. Can I? Thank you. I hate the fact that all the prompts are on the right stick. Like, the next time the makers of this game make a game, make the prompts button prompts. Because A, you could be trying to move the camera and accidentally pick up on something that you don't want to pick up on. And B, sometimes I'll more recognize that you've moved the stick. Just go, Jody. There we go. Take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. Oh, that's for my baby! For your back! I've changed my mind! I want my baby! It's a danger quickly! Oh, please! Get the baby oh, off her! have to be sorry for she's the one that agreed to be a lab rat what I did what are you trying to show me destroy this thing I didn't destroy it now Hey, we can talk to our mom. My little girl. It's just telepathic communication. I was so afraid I would never see you again. I've missed you so much, Jody. I've missed you so much. How do you know her name? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. 
I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I can put you out of your misery. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. We're pulling the plug on her. She can't live like this. <laughs> do I smash the machine or do I get to pull the plug? You're at peace now, Nora. I'll always be with you. <sighs> now let's get out of here before Cole gets killed. What? Cole? You better not have done that. Where am I? Am I back at Ryan's? Where am I? This is a really nice library or living Get up, Jody. What am I missing that she won't get up? Oh, I had to rotate it to the left. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? I'm in the CIA again. It's not a party in the CIA. I didn't... Let's look what we could destroy real quick. This is Nathan's office. Willem, you betrayed me. Come on, Jody. Go through the stupid door. We're trapped in the CIA. What? What in the world is that? What are you idiots up to? The most powerful condenser I've ever created. Impressive, isn't it? You... <laughs> you promised yes. you would never start one up again. <laughs> I was afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Called it. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use item. How did they find me? They've been tracking you ever since you escaped. They wanted to kill you. But I convinced them to wait for a while and watch you from a distance. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. 
I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. Okay. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance, look. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Why all the lies, Nathan? Those people pretending to be my parents. The I'm DPA so glad I thought you needed a stable emotional environment. A home, loving parents, some semblance of a normal life. Whatever would help us study you in the right conditions. I'm kind of glad I didn't choke the dad now. Because he didn't study deserve me? to die. What was I to you, Nathan? A little lab rat? I was just a girl, for fuck's sakes. I was just a little girl. Oh, you were the link. The link between our world and the infra world. You were everything we ever dreamed of. I thought I meant something to you. Man, nobody cares about Jody except for me. So and Cole. You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? Cole's they cool. They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? I mean... <laughs> Haven't I done enough? We know another country has discovered the infra-world. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? So is that why we went and killed that president, What has all this president, to do dude? with me? Because you know the infra-world better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. Oh, I'm listening. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. And yet you've you have got... The power to stop this. You've got one open in just outside your front door. So what are you talking about? Wow, 27 people did not end Nora's suffering at all. There were cells to explore? I didn't know there were cells to explore. Oh, in the hospital. I didn't think about that. Still, that upsets me. 27% did not end Nora's suffering. Like, she's your mom. They've got her drugged up. She's stuck in her own body. She can't do anything. And you let her continue living like that. What is wrong with you? I guess, you know, it's it would be hard to choose to end somebody's life, even if it meant, you know, they were no longer stuck in an eternal living hell. That's a tough choice. Or maybe they didn't even know they could with Iden, because, look, I didn't know I could explore the cells. So I'm I'm hoping that's what the answer is, but if anybody willingly left her like that, you're a monster. I mean, I know it's just a video game, but you're a monster. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Playtime. Uh, join us next time on Beyond Two Souls, 
where apparently I'm going to shut down another condenser. Despite the fact that there's one outside Dawkins' office! As always, play on and play hard.